Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one, and let's crack into another one. So TNT, yo, um, do you remember the submarine explode imploded? Yeah, I like uh, two weeks ago, but it, you know we never really talked about it, so it's good. I think we should talk about it. I'm in just a little bit at least. I'm in. Um, that thing was like a little van. It was, drove up underwater. It was a very small. It was very small, and it housed a bunch of rich people, um, except for maybe like the nineteen-year-old kid. Everybody's general consensus is that nobody feels sorry for the billionaires, and everybody's like that poor nineteen-year-old boy billionaire who who didn't even want to go. Oh, is that proven he didn't want to go? Yeah, and it was it was said. Um, he was like, "Fine, Dad, I'll go on the three hundred thousand dollar trip with you into the ocean to go see the Titanic." Yeah, he did it to please his dad. I think it was like a Father's Day thing. Um, yeah, it, look, man, I have to say, it's like it was just amazing to see the entire world. Like this was a worldwide story. Like everybody following it because everybody was like, "That has got to be the worst experience that a human could ever go well, through." Well, and yeah, and that was like before we realized that it just like imploded and they probably died instantly. Yeah, it. it, it there's a speculation that it probably just imploded on the very day. Um, little disclaimer is that this is it's still new to us, but this video is coming out a little late, so I don't know what they found besides like some debris at the site. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know if there's any uh, any lawsuits or anything that's been passed down Spoiler yet. Spoiler alert: We record ahead because we have lives. But no, Jonas is going on vacation. Let's just keep it a buck. Jonas yeah. is going on vacation, so we have to record a few weeks early. Or I mean, I'll take the blame for that because this mother. Fudger wants to go to Cancun. Now, Jonas, now, the, my biggest thing, since we, we really can't talk about the story because it's been played into the dirt, man. Uh, I mean, when no I one look that listens to our podcast gets their news from anywhere else, so <laughs> they need to hear about it. When I saw this, I was like, yo, yep, this is skydiving to me. This is skydiving. This is Mount Everest climbing. This is freehand rock climbing. This is rock climbing. This is swimming with the sharks. This is. I think it's different. This is not any different. Listen, okay. Listen. How is this different from any of those activities? Okay. High risk, no reward. Hold on. No reward. So, real quick tidbit. I did I did see a story that some other guy was like, I've taken four trips in the submarine, one of them to the, to the Titanic debris, and every time we lost communication with the surface. Yep. So, he had taken it down there before. He just hadn't. <laughs> It, and it been successful. It, apparently, the, the, the sub had made like thirty-seven uh, prior trips down there. So, it, it, oh yeah, so yeah, they weren't sure if it was like a structural thing, but bro, you know the weight of the ocean. But on that's top of your that's goddamn... not what we're talking about. We're talking anyway, about the fact that this is skydiving. This is different. Running from the bulls. It's different. Explain to me how it's different, and I'll explain to you how you're wrong. Okay, I'm down for that. It's like I'm like I'm the guy sitting at the table, and you're the guy who's about to walk up to me and tell me different. So, you, it's like, uh huh, uh huh. I'm waiting. Okay, if, if it's if it's skydiving, how is it not different than getting in an airplane? Well, because airplanes are well. Okay, so you're not even wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Except you need to get into an airplane to get where you need to go. Sometimes like getting into a car or getting onto a bus or getting in a truck, anything like vehicle to get to point A to point B necessary to get there in a timely fashion to meet dates. Yes. <laughs> what there's, strictly, there's strictly freaking uh, what do you call this? This recreational bullshit uh, adrenaline seeker shit. This no. All they wanted to do was see the wreckage no. of the Titanic. They, this motherfucker didn't have a meeting down at the Titanic that he needed to get to. Oh God, I got a meeting. <laughs> got the meeting at the bottom of the river. <laughs> I gotta get. I gotta get to the bottom of the ocean to go meet yeah. Joe. Gotta go meet the freaking. Okay, listen. So yeah, listen, listen. Not to mention the only too... way it would be, I think, the equivalent to skydiving. Is if you go to Homeboy's Skydiving Shack, nah. dude made his own plane, created his own goddamn parachutes nah. and took you up. This guy made this thing at home. This is like a, he took <laughs> converted a got, do, goddamn Dodge Caravan nah, into a submarine. No, no, no. We can't do that because Why? it had made 37 prior trips. They look, the dude was charging two and up to upwards of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for these so trips. He made 1.25 million dollars for every trip times 37 trips 
bro had like 50 million dollars and that probably was more than enough to cover the cost of the, the, the i don't want to say it's like these people were like uh what do you call that they weren't necessarily unethical they weren't necessarily unprofessional. This is a professional business. The same, the same that could happen at a bungee jump. The homemade, the home, the homemade submarine. My point, my point is that there's no point besides the experience to going down to the Titanic, to jumping out of a plane, to swimming with a shark, to uh, running with the bulls. There's no gain except the experience. And guess what? The experience could cost you your freaking life. That is where I don't see. Like, look, you already took right. it, you already take enough chances right. every time you get into a you, car. You have sex with a a woman or a man You're who's not a hundred percent right. Yes, the same boat. Yes, <laughs> the, the, having sex, unprotected sex with some woman that you have met that night at the bar is going into the Titan submarine <laughs> down to the. <laughs> Okay, if you're if you're throwing that shit in there too, you're right. Yeah, I mean yeah, it is because it, all it is is the experience. Yeah, it's I just nothing. I just want to have sex with a beautiful woman, and yeah. then like next thing you know, you like your dick falls off. <laughs> is that what happens? Yeah, you walking around dickless. Is that the new STD? Just yeah, falls right I'm off. Sure it is. Oh, dude. I didn't realize that was so common. <laughs> it's advanced stage uh, herpes all right. too. If you're if you're throwing all this into a bucket together. And only I agree. Be, only because it is it's the idea of like I said it's just it's not a It's 100% unnecessary. It's 100% unnecessary. It's 100% recreational in nature and the only thing you really got get out of it is the experience but on the same note the experience comes with an innate danger that could potentially cost you your life. And this right here is kind of solidified that for me. Now, the worst part is that I haven't even gotten to the hot take is that I kind of put like uh, carnival rides on this on this spectrum. I put like roller coasters on I this. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. And they're yeah. a little safer because they're a little more regulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to a point, I put... Dry, riding a motorcycle on this on this uh yeah i would agree because well, it's not that's not that's, well, you i see, be I see much your safer. point now because it's more like it's something that like you, there's all t you don't have to do it like no. motorcycles no there's there's a million other ways you can get to where you need to go do you need that to be safer on, do you need to be on a bike with no protection other no. than like no whatever and it's all do you because need to jump out of a plane no. No, no no do you need to have sex with that woman no do you need to, yeah, do you need to go take, well, and I think here's the, you're trying to make it sound like it's a boring life and it's not. Here's one of the most weird things I heard about this whole sub thing is they weren't even going to see it with their own eyes. They were going to see it on a screen inside a sub. So it's not like they go down there and there's like a window and they're like, Ooh, ah, uh, it's like there's a camera and it's like displayed on like a screen. Yeah, I remember there being a camera. The, from the video I saw, there was a a, a small tempered glass uh, porthole on the front of it. But I'm, I'm I could be wrong. But, but I mean, but they're not looking through that. <clears throat> they're I mean, not. I don't know, man. The, the video I watched where they gave a little tour. Mm -hmm. Everyone's you can't even stand up in the sub. No. So you're all India Indian styling. Yeah. I guess what we talked about, and I guess why I wanted to bring this up on the podcast in general. We thought they were all down there suffocating and how horrifying of an experience that was going to be. Yeah, and everybody fell in love with it, dude. Like, it no, but I couldn't even imagine. You, you're in the back. You're like in the back seat of like a Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> That's a truck. You're in the back seat of a Toyota Corolla with five people. <laughs> Tacoma to Corolla. I got you. You know that you're literally sucking your last breaths of air. Oh, wow. But it, that, doesn't, it, that never happened. And you're just... But yeah, this is what people thought was happening. Right? I think that's where the love affair came with it. I think that's where people, because people were just sitting there in their own homes like, ooh, that's scary. What if that happened to you? What would you do? Yeah, then they're that's all like, oh, it was instant. That's not as bad. And then, you know, then came the memes. Which, is there memes? So many memes. Why man. are people so heartless? In the night, I hear you, them call. You, know, you want to know what I want to say right now, Jonas? Is that why are people so heartless, Jonas? My name is Jonas of the Crazy Town Podcast, and niggas die every day. <laughs> Wait a second. All right? <laughs> Wait a second. So, Did you just put my name in the I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> That's the first time you've ever said the N-word on the podcast. They, they do, in though. In 500 episodes. I know, right? But they do. They die every day. So I don't really... 
I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, oh god, the millionaires in the sub died when I know of like people who are getting murdered right now by their by their husband. So you know, I mean, like, well, and and I feel you. Like, I mean, I don't want anyone to die, right? I don't, I don't want either. Anyone to die, but like, I can't tell you that I've ever felt bad that puts someone that's put themselves in a situation where death is a possibility and it happened. Yeah. Like you hear like man dies in bungee jumping accident. I'm like, well, he knew that could have happened. I'm a guy who wants to go bungee jumping. And, but, <laughs> and skydiving, you fucking not, No, I don't want to go bungee jumping. I want to go sky. Sorry, I missed Wacky. That. Um, right. Like, guy, guy dies in sh- skydiving accident. I don't feel bad for them. I do in the fact that they died. But, like, you put yourself... Guy dies in motorcycle accident going 130 miles an hour. Like, bro, you were going 130 on a goddamn motorcycle. What do you, what do you expect might happen to you? Like... You know, homeboy like does one is in one of them wing glider suits, and he's like, "Oh, crashes into the side of a, a, a mountain." Like, y- you're doing something where death is a higher than like most 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 things. Like, I'm walking to the bathroom. Chances of death zero there's point zero zero one. No, there's right. always a chance, there's right? Always a but chance. like certain events spike that shit way exactly. up in there. Exactly. And if like you're running at something where where even if the chance of death is like ten percent. That's a high ass chance to die compared to your normal activities. Dead ass. So Dead. I don't know. So the the moral of the story is uh play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Kind of, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But you know, anyways, that's all time we have today. So go to the crazy dot com and subscribe for Jonas. We didn't even talk about his stepson. Oh my god, TNT. Uh yeah.